Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with WWE Elite Collection Series 29, Eric Rowan. Includes lamb mask and chair. And now as we look at the packaging back, here's a picture of him wearing said mask and looking as creepy as all hell. Plus a picture of him about to come crashing down on poor little Daniel Bryan. Here's the bio, pause now to read that at your own leisure. Then we have the other action figures in this series, they are Andre the Giant, who will be coming to my channel in a special video soon. Goldust, who I shot a comparison with the Elite Collection Series 6 version. If you haven't checked that out, I'll hook you up with a link at the end of this video. Damien Sandow, Luke Harper, and CM Punk. Yep, somehow the CM Punk action figures still keep on coming. It just shows you how far ahead Mattel planned these lines out, as it seems seemingly forever since CM Punk ditched the WWE. Here he is out of packaging and is definitely my favorite of the Wyatt family, and in my opinion, the creepiest. To me, a blend of various horror films, in my mind borrowing the boiler suit from Jason of the Friday the 13th movies, the hillbilly beard from a movie like Deliverance, and an animal mask from the Wicker Man, the original, that is, not the crap remake with Nicolas Cage. So confronted with Rowan, I don't know if he's going to hack me apart with a machete, make me squeal like a pig while he rapes me, or set me on fire as a sacrifice to ancient gods to ensure a good harvest. And need I mention, none of those are fates I want to meet. I had planned to use Rowan here for a custom nails I was thinking about, but I had so much trouble tracking this Rowan action figure down that I'm now rethinking that. Long story cut short, with this costing me twice as much as the figure cost in petrol to track him down, I'm kind of precious about him now. So the proportions of the action figure are really good, they capture Rowan's looming presence. And as for the likeness, I think it's pretty decent, yet yeah, even if you don't like it, you can always cover it up with the sheep mask. And I'm really pleased with the fit of the mask. You can see from the interior, it's got the impression of Rowan's face to ensure that it fits nice and tight. His second accessory is a rocking chair. It does come with instructions, but assembling it, it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess really it's more an accessory for Bray Wyatt, but unlike Rowan, I was a lot less precious about my elite Bray Wyatt when it came to customizing. So now it's an accessory for Tugboat. Now looking at our his head rotates side to side. Well, as much as his gargantuan beard allows, he looks down this much and then up this much. And while you can't quite recreate the cocked head quizzical creepy pose of the packaging back, there is some slight side to side movement of the head. At the shoulder, his arms rotate. They also move up this much and then back down. There's upper arm rotation. Then a single jointed elbow rotation at the wrist, and this is also hinged, moving up and down. There's an ab crunch which moves this far forwards and then this far back. There's waist rotation. Then at the hips, his legs move out to the side and back in to the front. Not very much and not really to the back. There's upper leg rotation. There's a double jointed knee. Then at the ankle, there is a tiny pivot to it and it also moves backwards and forwards slightly. Anyway, please help me out by giving this video a big thumbs up. Also remember to comment, share and subscribe. For a closer look at my Tugboat Custom, click this video. Or as promised, for a closer look at the Goldust Elite Collection action figure comparison, click this video. Alternatively, check out the description beneath this video for links to my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Click those links and connect with me there too. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.